Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey. So growing up, I always had a garden. We had a tomato garden. My grandparents always had a garden with lots, lots of pretty flowers and stuff. They sort of stopped um, when I was around a teenager. They stopped um, sort of maintaining and keeping up a garden. And I always liked it. And uh, I love tomatoes. I would eat, always eat those. So I kind of want to get inspired, visit a garden. I haven't seen a lot of cool uh, gardens in a while. I heard about this place called Frederick Meyer Garden and Sculpture Park in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I thought it'd be a perfect time to go get inspired and maybe start up my uh, own garden next um, spring. I'm currently with Kelly right now. Hi. We're gonna go check out some stuff. Do you like flowers? Like, What's your favorite flower? What do you I like do. to do? I do like flowers. I'm a girl. So. Is that is that is that a general requirement usually when a girl is just like flowers? I think all girls like flowers. I'm actually really excited to check out the park, sort of get inspired, maybe start my own garden again, and uh, do that. So let's go check out some uh, glorious gardens. So we got to the garden and sculpture park. We're about to go inside. There's already cool stuff out and about. There's flowers and a tree. It looks like some like what is that? A bouquet or what is that? Like a little it's hanging? A, it's a hanging basket. Here it is, the Frederick Meyer. Gardens and sculpture tree. Oh, park. Run! Go run! run. Oh, this, this is... the car <laughs> so we first walk in to the uh, garden part, and they have different rooms for different sort of like atmospheres or uh, biospheres. There's some biology for you. We're about to enter the arid. What's the arid? Tell us a quick little. What's arid like? Arid is like a desert. Oh, that's why it looks like de like a desert in here. Yeah. You can actually kind of feel like the dry air. It's a yeah. little warmer inside in this greenhouse. I dare you to touch it. Ow. Is it actually? It's sharp, but it didn't hurt. Oh. This is what my hair looks like in the morning. So you walk in and there's this room called the carnivorous room. And I guess it's the room with the plants that actually eat things. It smells like really bad, like rotting meat. And then um, like flies fly into it and get stuck in like this disgusting sap that smells really bad. And then it digests it. And that's how it gets its nutrients. Oh, it's, oh, it's a fly trap. Ready? Yep. Oh. It almost got me. That's so weird. Like I remember reading about those and like when I was in eighth grade science class, but then it actually closes up like that. Did it get you? Yeah, I hate my finger. It's gone. Just kidding. Tropical. Who needs a vacation when you can just go into a greenhouse and experience it here at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park? This sort of feels like um, Jurassic Park. <laughs> I feel like we're in Jurassic Park. That looks about right. So they even have a little children's garden where kids can come play, and they even have a little uh, door for children to go through, or adults. I have the urge to ride a horse. A gigantic one. Yeah. This is gigantic. How does this not like tip over like high winds? That is gigantic. Huge. See, that's this is the foot. So we just walked about three-fourths of just the garden part, and there's tons of more stuff to check out. We didn't even hit the sculpture part, but it is so amazing. It's really pretty. It's a great just going for like a little nature walk and check out the gardens that they put in. Did you have fun? Did you like the things? Or was it, was it did. Pretty? It was really pretty. It was relaxing. Was definitely inspired by the gardens. Obviously, I can't do anything to this scale, but it would be nice to have something around um, my yard. If you ever get a chance, definitely check out the Frederick Meyer um, Garden and Sculpture Park here in Grand Grand Rapids, Michigan, and it was very cool seeing some glorious gardens.